Uh, what's up guys? So we got back from hunting Philip this weekend. Uh, we have to go and pick up that kayak. That uh, then we're gonna maybe try and give it a go tonight. Not sure. Um, but I wanted to give you an update on the truck. Here, one sec. All right, so well, let me tell you. Just got this today, and uh, I already took the locks out of it because I gotta get new locks. But you just gotta put a new one in right there. But uh, I just put the two bolts in, so nobody can take it out. And it's got a full slide drawer goes to either side but then it stays with this so it doesn't slide around in here um i want to replace the carpet the seams let's give it a good sand paint it black um and then i took off the bumper which was uh mangled obviously but it didn't have a hitch because of the bumper. And I don't like the bumpers that are on the, the hitches that are on the bumper like that. So I found one of these receivers. It was like for a 2003 Jeep Cherokee, but I just cut them out of there and uh, welded them up onto here, all the way around the sides. Um, and then I'm gonna cut this off flat. And I'm gonna fabricate a triangle piece to go up to here. So, we gotta wire it up. But, I'm just gonna cut the side brackets out of this piece of steel. So that way, I can get rid of it and then it'll be complete. But the damn tailgate doesn't close. So I just put my license plate on there. We gotta actually put it back onto here. Cause I need a whole new box and tailgate. And I actually found one at the junkyard. Um, for uh, 400 bucks. And then it's just held on with this bolt, that bolt, and that bolt up there. So, but yeah, what we're gonna take, I was gonna drive this, but it's five speed. And I don't really wanna go 65, 70 all the way there. And my gas gauge doesn't work. I haven't fixed it yet. I think it's my sending unit, so that's bad. But uh, I don't know, I already ran out of gas once. So I'm gonna do that. We could have taken her car, but she didn't wanna, at the hood and i don't blame her we don't want to wreck this one but my car over there the dodge i don't really care a whole lot about because i don't know you've already seen me tow my truck with it but the top is all fucked up and it's all hail damage and so we're just gonna take that car and strap that fucker down to the hood or to the top of it this redneck redneck it up no that shouldn't be a problem i don't think but i'll take it off if i have to who cares but yeah so i guess i'll meet you on the road um and then we're gonna go pick that up we have to go get a couple ratchet straps um nothing crazy though we're gonna go get that and then hopefully be on our way to go grab that for you and we'll meet you up there so all right guys see you on the road all right, guys, so we got ratchet straps, uh, leather foam for the toolbox, paint for the toolbox. I already got some at home. And then we need to find locks, but they don't have them here, so. But, yeah, we're going to go get the boat now that we got tied down straps. So, see you on the road. Feel like I do right now. Don't say you're on the road to the other side. My love. All right, guys, so we just got here. Um, <coughs> this is the boat I was talking about. It's a 133X Tournament Ascend, A-S-C-E-N-D. But we're gonna flip this upside down in the car. I don't know what these buttons are for. I don't have to research this, I guess, but storage down there a little bit I don't know what these are for 
but I gotta take them out when I'm on the road. Hopefully I can get to the get to the lake tonight. Maybe give this give it a go, try it out, see what's going on. Hopefully these are not big. We got extra ones right here. I think there might be someone to see. <laughs> oh. It's got pole holders, spots for lights, it's got a motor mount, it's got everything it need. That in the car too. Grab that bungee cord. Put it in the car. See that spot? Back there for the motor. But then you can look here. This is where the trolling motor mounts. These three spots. Okay. And then it sits up front. So I'm gonna rig your seat up in the back where you can have your spot. You could face out, but then you can also turn around, film me, and then I can have this spot where I can walk up here, have my bucket, everything, okay? But for tonight, I'm gonna use that seat and maybe you can bring a pillow or something and just sit in the bottom. Okay. Since that works. All right guys, so, there's one spot I'm gonna have to give some love to. I leaked a little right out there, but. I think I can probably just, if I don't take it all the way off, just seal up what I can and with some putty and stuff. And, but I don't like too bad right now. Drain plugs right here, I think, or cords or something for sonar, I don't know. But there's no drain plug on it in the front or nothing. I suppose it's not supposed to take on water, so it doesn't need one. But uh, you got that screw. Okay, make sure you put that with the brown bag. Well, yeah, guys, this is what it looks like. We're gonna strap it down and just go home, so. All right, guys, so we got the kayak tied down. We grabbed a couple drinks, and then now we're gonna drive home and maybe even hit the lake tonight. So, all right, guys, see you on the All right guys, so we just got home. Um, starting to take off the tow rope straps, whatever you wanna call them. Jesus. I think that one was ready to come off. What do you think? No. No? Nosy mother... Nosy people. But, alright guys, well, we're gonna get it put in the back of the truck, so... We can try and go fishing. Alright guys, so we got the boat here. After we got it home, took off the tow straps to the back of the truck. Drove it out here. Put it in the storage shed for now. I need to build a little trailer for it. Um, I figure I'm gonna... Make it and I'll have running boards in the middle on both sides and then obviously ratchet it down in the front and the back and one in the front so it doesn't slide back. Um, probably the one in the front and then just strap one in the back could be fine. Um, but I know, hopefully this weekend when I'm done with work we can take it out and go fishing and yeah, I guess we'll see you in the next video guys. I'm gonna get ready to go home and go to work so all right guys we got the boat in the storage so grab a cage is still but all right guys well, we're gonna get in the truck 
All right, guys, so we just got back from the storage unit, putting the boat in there, but I'm gonna finish doing my locks so I can lock this up, put my tools in here so I can have some room in the apartment to walk around, so. But other than that, not a whole lot going on. Hopefully, go fishing this weekend. I'll uh, film some of that for you. But other than that, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think. So, peace.